and welcome back YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with another video. Today I'm here to share with you a Mythic TCG Twilight Immortal First Edition Booster Box unboxing. The Mythic TCG is a new TCG that released in 2023, and this is the second ever set to be released for the card game. It pits <clears throat> mythological creatures, heroes, villains, and legends against one another from many different folklores and mythologies from across the globe. This particular set features 240 cards, uh, 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. You get one guaranteed hollow per pack. Three hidden rare cards per box, so hidden rare means like you could get like a double hollow, uh, like a spe some sort of specialty hollow card, which is pretty cool, so it's like secret rare from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and this particular set features 150 new cards, ranging from the Norse gods, romancing of the Three Kingdom heroes, Japanese yokai, Hindu gods, Aztec gods, Buddhist legends, and something called Cuddle Muffins, which are basically really cutesy arts of characters from the first set that they re-released in this one. And as we open this, I will kind of share with you each type of card. There are five different types of cards uh, that you could build your deck with, and I will kind of do a brief explanation of each one. And I also have to say that the fine folks at Mythic TCG asked me to do this box opening, and I graciously accepted it. Once I looked at the website, found out that the game is very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just without all the craziness of modern day Yu-Gi-Oh! It's, it's pretty cool. And I, you know how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh! So with all that said, let's get cracking into this particular box. If it wants to open, that is. Maybe I'll go to the side here. Okay, here we go. So thank you to all the fine folks at Mythic TCG for supplying me with this box. I cannot wait to get into it and see what uh, cards I get to pull. Alright. I do really love the design. It looks like some sort of Leviathan or Hydra right here. And you got some sort of a Thor-esque character ready to take him on. Pretty cool if you ask me. And this would be great for crossover if this game ever becomes popular enough. Who knows, maybe they might be able to get like a God of War or a Rygar crossover. That would be amazing. Alright, so let's take a look at the pack itself before we open it. Same, same as the box art, kind of cool. Uh, this booster pack contains 10 edition, or 10 first edition mythic cards. Anything underneath? Nope. 2023 Maximum Majesty Playing Cards LLC. And I did think I forgot some lore on the box. Apologies about that. Stands, uh, apologies, don't know how to say that. Heimdall, Heimdall, Heimdall stands up, blows with all his might in the Galar Horn, and awakens all the gods, then quivers the ash. Yagdrasil, and all things in heaven and earth, fear and tremble. MythicTCG.com Alright, so with that said, I am excited to open up these packs. You never know what you can pull. But we should get 
according to the website, one hollow per pack, and three, uh, like, higher rarity hollows per box. So I look forward to it. Alright, so this is our first card. This is going to be called a Mythic card. You can tell, so Mythics have this little star up here. Uh, attack is 7,000, defense is 5,000. Now Mythic cards do not go in your main deck. I uh, consider them kind of like an extra deck monster. They typically have uh, some sort of special summoning condition. Sorry about the wobbliness there. Sun Wukong, Sage equal to Heaven. So this is going to be an Enlightened. So the Enlightened means that that's what a uh, archetype it belongs to. And Stone is its elemental. It is immortal. I don't know what immortal is. Uh, you can just play this card by sacrificing all your champions, or at least three mythics on the field. You can sacrifice any number of champions and deploy Monkey Spirit. When taxed in defense, always equal to this card. Okay. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, 7,000 attack, that's how much attack you have. 5,000 defense. Basically, that's like Yu-Gi-Oh there. Power toughness, or whatever you want to call it. But this goes into your extra deck, this does not go into your main deck, or what they call their mythic deck, apologies. And you can have a limit of 10 cards in your mythic deck, and you can only have 2 copies of each mythic in your mythic deck. And you can only deploy... So if you have 2 copies of Sung Wukong in your extra deck, you can only deploy 1 at a time. If, if, he, if he happens to get destroyed, then you can deploy your other one, but you cannot have two copies of Sung Wukong on the field at the same time. So that's kind of like, a, a little bit like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Extra deck there. So, just to kind of give you a heads up. So this is going to be what's considered, what is called a magic card, or be equivalent of spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Cow Cow's Whip. This is from the Three Kingdoms archetype. Uh, if Three Kingdoms champion... And this is normal, so there's two types of magic cards. You got normal, which you use it once and then it's gone. And then you have... Uh, uh, I forget what they call it. Uh, endearing. You have Endearing, which means that uh, it stays on the field after you activate it. So that's Cow Cow's Whip. The Invincible Flying General. Pretty cool. Olympian Ares, God of War. Pretty cool. So this is what they call a general. So generals go into your deck. But from Magic the Gathering, they're kind of like legendary monsters where you can only deploy one at a time. You can only have one general out at a time. He's, he's more like your commander from Magic the Gathering. Change all the opponent's champions to attack stance for as long as Olympian Ares God of War is on the field. You can only have one champion on the field at a time. If your opponent destroys it, uh, then you can play a new one. I believe you can deploy a new one just by sending this one to the graveyard. But I, I'm not 100% sure about that. So that's Olympian, Ares, God of War. Tengu, the Flying Yokai, pretty cool. Kron, Wisest of the Centaurs. So this is a champion. So champions, uh, you have uh, basically points that you accumulate every turn. The He costs six to deploy, you gain four points per turn, so it would take two turns in order to summon this champion. They are probably the most important part of the game, and he has 6,000 attack, 6,000 defense, and they are by far basically like, you know, your monsters from Magic or monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, the, the, those are, the, these are your standard 
attack monsters, and they all have a power and a uh, archetype and a typing element that they belong to. And this is the final type of card that you can get, a Mystical Shackles of the Wolf. This is what's called a Fortifier. And a Fortifier is something that they, they have, just like magic, they have either normal or enduring, so they either one and done or they uh, stay in the field after activation. And they're very similar to trap cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! You basically set them down. It's here, sorry, let me move that. And then you can activate it on your opponent's turn or when the conditions for the card itself is met. So let's take a look at this one just to get an understanding. Fortifier for the Norris. When an opponent's champion declares an attack, you can sacrifice one champion to switch the attack and champion to defense stance. That card cannot change its stance for or activate its powers for as long as this card remains on the field. So it's so basically what it does is uh, you set this card, your opponent declares an attack on you, you sacrifice one of your own champions to change that opponent's champion into defense. For as, and they cannot change out of defense for as long as this card remains on the field. Kind of cool. Haunted Dwellings of the Yokai. Very cool art. I like that a lot. Sun Ren, Queen of Mountains and Rivers. Very nice. And our first hollow looks to be, it appears to be a standard hollow. Sengoku Samurai. Uh... Akichi? Mitsuhide? Mitsuhide? Apologies if I mispronounced that name. That is our first hollow from the box. Pretty cool. I'll put him right here for all to see. Alright, so now that we've kind of gone through the basics, We get to go a little bit faster with the next couple of packs. I hope we pull one of the Cuddle Muffins, that'd be really cute. We got the Aztec Eagle Warrior, very nice. Summoning of the Divine, another Aztec card. Iga Shuriken! Olympian Helios, the Radiant Sun. Sun Quan Stability. Aztec Ju uh, Jaguar Warrior. Siddhartha, the Enlightened. The Horned Parasite. Grand Chancellor Cow Cow the Cunning. An Aztec Priest. Very cool. Tengu, the Flying Yokai. Olympian, Selene, the Illustrious Moon. That is a beautiful card. Cow Cow's Whip. Imperial Jade Seal. Sengoku Samurai. Onion Hanzo. The Invincible Flying General. The Crowned Parasite. Kuzakwatl, Overlord of the Wind. Oh, it's that Final Fantasy VIII summoning. Love it. Cut up Muffin! Artemides! Beautiful! And... Entrancing Rapture of the Yokai. So that's what I meant by the Cuddle Muffin. So this Artemides was a... Uh, Standard card in the previous set. Now they made her into Cuddle Muffin, a very cutesy art. Very adorable. One thing I'm not sure about about the TCG is what the deck limit size is and what the uh, how many of each card you could have in your deck. I'm not sure about that. I have to do a bit more research. Uh, Chiron, wisest of centaurs. 
Joan of Arc, the Savior of France. Very nice card. Heavenly Pharaoh. Kifri, the Rising Sun. Parasite Concealment. SPQR, Cleopatra, the Heavenly Queen. Another beautiful card. Peach Garden Oath. Ega Sabotage. Cuddle Muffin Zeus. That is so adorable. My Cow. My Chow, the Splendid Tiger. And Sky Piercer. Kind of like you're in Lagan, huh? Pierce the Heavens. Anybody remember that show? Barham, the Supreme Creator. Norris Lanfi, Mother of Mischief. Heavenly Pharaoh, Ours, the Protector. Norris Sagan, the Loyal Spouse. SPQR Legion. King Alexander of Macedonia. Shiva, the Supreme Destroyer. Oh. The Butcher of 10,000. I'm not even sure how to begin to pronounce that name. Oh, SPQR Cleopatra, the Heavenly Queen. And we did get something special. Oh, that is a beautiful rare. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of the dual terminal hollows. Beautiful. Zhang Liao, Terror of the Southlands. Beautiful card. So it looks like these are uh, kind of like full mirror foil hollows. And then you get at least a few higher rarity cards per box. That's cool. Because I know we got his PQR Cleopatra as a standard card before. Super happy to get that card though. Beautiful looking. Terror of the Southlands. Huang Zhao, the Ange Ageless Tiger. Norris Tyre, Master of War. Art of War by Sang Soon. Colossal, the Stone Sentinel. I wonder if we will get a Sang Soon. Uh, Hypatia. Hypatia of Macedonia. Olympian Ares, God of War. Very cool. Norris Sun, the Earth Burner. Aztec Priest. Binding Entrails of Nari. And hey, we got another one of that. It looks a bit watched out, but kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like that. It almost looks like a ghost effect. I like that. Apologies if the cards aren't 100% centered on camera. I'm trying my best here. Summoning of the Divine. Really cool. Aztec Jaguar Warrior. Uh, the Warriors of Macedonia. I'm not sure how to say that name. Norris Sijin, the Loyal Spouse. Inga Shuriken. Aztec Pyramid, that is a cool card. Uh, Munchkin, the Treacherous Griffin. Endless Chasm, that looks terrifying. Entrance Raptor to, of the Yokai. And our hollow is the Warrior or the Wisest of Centaurian. Very cool. And I don't know if I showed the back of the cards here. Let me show you the back quick. That's what the back of the cards look like. Kind of cool. 
Very simple, but very cool. I like I like that clean, simple design. Immortal Parasite. Norris Tyre, Master of War. Sun Quan's Stability. Binding of the Boats. Immortal Use or Use Curse? I'm going to call them Use. Uh, Imperial Jade Seal. Sun C, the Little Conqueror. It's like Napoleon. Tiger Lord Guan Yu, good God of War. Emperor Sun Quan, the par pra uh, Pragmatic. And the Butcher of 10,000. Apologies if I'm butchering the names of these cards. If I'm not familiar with the name, I sometimes struggle mightily. Alright, we got the three visits. Coming out of retirement. That's kind of cool. King the Heart Reaper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Contest of Utgarda Loki. Trebuchet. I know that word. Oh, come on. Uh, the Spear Bearers of Ma Macedonia. Kingdom of Shu. Misinform. Sama Yi, the Dragon's Nemesis. And Norris Balder, the Bleeding Prince. Kind of cool looking. Heavenly Pharaoh, Kefri the Rising Sun, Olympian Era, or Hira, Trebuchet, Contest of Utgarda Loki, King the Heart Reaper, Olympian Selene the Illustrious Moon, beautiful card. I hope I did get this in Hollow, that'd be great. Yamayuba, the Mountain Yokai. Uh, Jorg... Jormungander? Jormungander? The World Serpent. That'd be a really cool hollow, too. Norris Balder, the Bleeding Prince. And Hang Zong, the Ageless Tiger. Very nice. All right, next pack. Aras, Lord of the Frozen Wolves. Another cool looking card. That is so cool looking. Look at that. Beautiful card. Cream Puff, the treacherous Manticore. So adorable. Kingdom of Way. Mandate of Heaven. Cuddle Muffin Ra, another adorable card. Cuddle Muffin Neftis. Dai Chan, Toppler of Kingdoms. Sun Si, the Little Conqueror. Munchkin, the Treacherous Griffin. And oh, Fariner, the. Harbringer of Destruction, another beautiful card. Look at that. So happy to get this in hollow. Moving on to the next path. Hey, we start off with another cream puff. Adorable. Kingdom of Way. Aras, Lord of the Frozen Wolves. Cuddle Muffin Ra, Kingdom of Wu. Sengoku Samurai Onion Hanzo. Iga Sabotage, the Yellow Parasite. Loki, the 
the inset the enticer of mischief and kingdom of Shu. all right so that does it for the left half of the box now we move to the right half so far one higher our hidden rarity according to the site it said we should get three per box so two more to look forward to hopefully Norris Fim Blue Winter Norris Frasia the Gleaming Lady hey that's from Final Fantasy 9 SPQR Ballista Braham the Supreme Creator Norris Hell the Underworld go uh, Governess SPQR Legion Ten a hundred thousand arrows. That's much more than ten thousand arrows. Cuddle Muffin Artemides, adorable. Misinform. And Cow Cow's a whip. Very cool. Next pack. Sang Soon's The Art of War. Heavenly Pharaoh, ours the protector. Norris Laufi, mother of mischief. Hang Zong, the ageless tiger. Aztec eagle warrior. Colossal, the stone sentinel. Very cool. Cuddle Muffin Zeus. Simayai, the dragon nemesis. Dial Chan, the toppler of kingdoms. And Endless Chasm Hollow. Very cool. Immortal Parasite, Aztec Pyramid, Immortal Use Curse, Olympian Era, Binding of the Boats, <clears throat> Sun Wukong, Sage Equal to Heaven, Ch Kane's Beauty of the Moon, another beautiful card, Aztec Priest, Origin of Life, and our hollow is coming out of retirement. Very nice. Saving all the good stuff for the end of the box. Ooh, that's a new one. Zhang Ju, Commander of Heaven. Very cool. Peach Garden Oath. Zhao Yun, the... Virtuous Tiger, the Delayed Parasite, Kangima, Ka, Kong, Kong Ming's Enlightened Maze, Zhao Yu, the Seaside Flame, Zhang Zaya, Grand Duke of Kui, Zhang Fi, the Drunken Tiger, Odin, All-Father, Ruler of the Azar. And Mystical Shackles of the Wolf. Very cool. Got a lot of new cards that last pack. Uh, Macedonia. Fallen Angel's Throne, very cool. Fountain of Youth. Naglafar, the Ship of Nails. Nessie, Protector of the Deep. Hey, 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 we even got Loch Ness Monster in here. Sky Piercer. Uh, Norris Sif, the Golden Goddess. Odin, All Father, Ruler of the Ares. Yuki Ona, the Frozen Yokai, and Sengoku Samurai Hattori Hanzo. Very cool. Classic ninja. Kind of reminds me of Tenchu. Anybody remember the Tenchu games?
Frozen Wolf Pack. Very cool. Bryhildr, the greatest of Valkyries. Oh, it's uh, Odin's horse. Finnir, the Harbinger of Destruction. Norris, Fim Winter. SPQR Ballista, Tiger Lord Guan Yu, God of War. Norris, Sif of the Golden Goddess. Zhang Fi, the Drunken Tiger, and Sima Yi, the Dragon's Nemesis. Very cool. All right. We got the Green Dragon, Norris Freya, the Gleaming Lady, Hitario, the Macedon, Norris Hell, the Underworld Governess, Arrival of the Valkyries, very cool. Himeji Castle. Norris, Sidgard, Slayer of Dragons. 100,000 Arrows, Haunted Dwellings of the Yokai, and Brihender, Greatest of the Valkyries. Very nice. Getting close to the end of the box. We got Joan of Arc, Savior of France, Olympian Helios, the Radiant Sun, The Three Visits, SPQR Cleopatra, Cleopatra, the Heavenly Queen, Coming Out of Retirement, Shiva, the Supreme Destroyer, The Immortal Goats, okay, that's a new one, The Horned Parasite, oh, we got another high rarity, Parasite Concealment, and it's a magic card, uh, Advent of Ragnarok. Very cool. Beautiful art. To go with our Hollow Wolf. At the end, I'll take a look at the higher rarity cards and see their effects. I just want to make sure I don't run out of battery life before then. Anaglafar, the Ship of Nails. Sengoku Samurai Hattori Hanzo. Frozen Wolf Pack. That'd be a cool one to get hollow. To go with our wolf theme here. Nessie, Protector of the Deep. Sky Piercer. Bryhinder, Greatest of the Valkyries. Origin of Life. Iga Sabotage, Quizzicatl Overlord of the Wind, and Heavenly Phantom Hours the Protector. Very nice. So after this, so we got three packs left including this. So one should be a higher rarity card hopefully. And then the other two will have pretty cool Reverse Hollows, I'm sure. It'd be cool to get one of the Cuddle Muffin Reverse Hollows. Or, Hollow cards. Like, sorry, they're not Reverse Hollows. Cuddle Muffin, Nephitus, Yellow, to, uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion, Parasite Concealment, Mandate of Heaven, Marduk, the Patreon of Babylon, Cupcake, the treacherous chimera, that's adorable. Kind of reminds me of the chimera from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Norist Freyr, the Lord of Light Elves. Yoki Ona, the Frozen Yokai. Norris uh, Milner, the Thor's Hammer. And Nessie, Protector of the Deep. Cool. All right, two packs left to go. What will we get? Nobody knows. 
Fires of Hell. I think that's a new card too. Nice. The Serial Aggravator Me Hung. That's an interesting shot. Give me a second here. Yeah, yeah, that's the classic uh, movie poster look between the legs at the person beyond the legs. Sengoku Samurai Aki Mitsuhide. Mu, uh, Mushusu, the Guardian of Babylon, cool dragon, Fountain of Youth, Binding Entrails of Nari, Machao, the Splendid Tiger, uh, Siddhartha, the Enlightened, oh, we got another higher rarity, we got our dragon, Guardian of Babylon, as our hollow, and... The Compelling Parasite. Pretty cool. Alright, so our last pack. I don't know if, if you can get more than three higher rarity cards, but we'll find out here. Just for fun, we're going to put these two cards to the side in case we do have a higher rarity. Green Dragon, Arrival of the Valkyries, uh, the greatest of all horses, Odin's horse, uh, Mesodon, Finnir, the Harbinger of Destruction, Him Himajay, Himajay Castle, Himajay Castle, sorry about that. Chang's Beauty of the Moon and Kingdom of Shu. The Crowned Parasite and our final hollow of the box is Munchkin the Treacherous Griffin. Very cool. Alright, so for phone we're going to take a look at the effects of our higher rarity cards that we pulled. First up, the Compelling Parasite. It's a three cost champion, zero attack, zero defense, champion parasite shadow. When this card is eliminated in battle by an opponent's champion, eliminate that champion. And you can apply a parasite champion from your grave, face down, except the Compelling Parasite. Sorry about that. Hmm. I don't know if that's any good or not. I mean, essentially, it's like Death Touch, where it kills, where it kills whatever enemy it, it attacks or battles against. However, and then you can take any sort of parasite. So, in a parasite deck, this sounds like it'd be pretty powerful. But I, I don't know enough about parasites in this game, so that'll be fun to learn. Magic card, Advent of Ragnarok, normal. Magic Norris. When you have less than 5,000 heartbeats, heartbeats is the life point total in this game, you start with 25,000. Uh, and there are at least two mythics on the field. Sacrifice Loki, the enticer of mischief, to eliminate all cards on the field, and then deploy Vineyard, the harbinger of destruction from your mythic slot. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So uh, basically, you play this card. As long as you have Loki on the field, and there are two more, and at least two mythics either side, it doesn't matter. You field wipe, and then you bring out uh, the the wolf. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. A bit more situational because you do have to have Loki and two mythics on the field to activate. But if you can achieve that, and you're in a pinch, you can board wipe and then summon the Harbinger of Destruction. Zang Loud, Ch Terror of the Southlands. He is a 7 cost champion, 3000 attack, 7000 defense. Champion, 3 kingdoms earth. This card can eliminate champions in battle while in defense stance. Oh, that's kind of cool. When this card is attacked, you can target one 3 kingdoms champion 
you control, this target gains defense equal to that card's attack. Okay. If an opponent controls a face-up champion on their turn, that opponent must attack this card. Oh, okay, so basically, you keep it in defense until the end of turn. If you have another three kingdoms monster on the field, this card will gain a defense equal to that monster's attack, and if your opponent attacks this card, uh, it will, and it has uh, lower at attack than this card's defense, it will automatically eliminate that champion that attacks it. So that's kind of cool. And now it says it. Now it says uh, it has to attack this card, but only once. So each turn, you can guarantee to eliminate one of your opponent's monsters if they cannot get rid of this card. So this card will be a high priority target to get rid of for your opponent. Pretty cool. And then we're going to just take a quick look at the hollow cards we got, the standard hollow cards. Munchkin the Treacherous Griffin. Mushushu the Guardian of Babylon. Nessie, Protector of the Deep. Heavenly Fa uh, Pharaoh, Hours of the Protector, Parasite, Concealment, Brihinder, Greatest of the Valkyries, Sima Yi, the Dragon's Nemesis, Sengoku, Samurai, Hattori Hanzo, very cool, Mystical Shackles of the Wolf, Coming Out of Retirement, Endless Chasm, Cow Cow's Whip, Kingdom of Sho, Fariner, the Harbinger of Destruction. Hong Zhao, the Ageless Tiger. Norris, Balder, the Bleeding Prince. Butcher of Ten Thousand. Wisest of Centaurs. Mesodon. SPQR, Cleopatra, the Heavenly Queen. Sky Piercer. Enhancing Rapture of the Yokai. Aztec Priest. And Sengoku Samurai Akichi Mitsuhide is our final, or our very first hollow of the box. With that, I want to say thank you for watching the video, and thank you to the fine folks at Mythic for providing me with this booster box of Twilight Immortals. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if there's interest, I might show a quick... Uh, video on how to actually uh, the basics of the game and how to play it if anybody's interested in that. Until next time, this is Booster Box Buster. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.